Good morning. Welcome to St. Lawrence O'Toole Parish for the celebration for the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. My name is Peg Smith. I will be your lector for this Mass. The celebrant is Father Tom, assisted by Deacon Mark. This Mass is being offered for the Fitzgerald family. Please see the bulletin for announcements and turn off all cell phones and electronic equipment before the Mass begins. Please rise and join in singing our gathering hymn, Glory and Praise to Our God. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. We, the daughters and sons of him, who built the valleys and plains, Praise the wonders our God has done in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. In his wisdom, wisdom he strengthens, strengthens us, us like gold that's tested in fire. Though the power of sin prevails, our God is there to save. Glory and praise to our God. Before we begin, first of all, very happy and blessed Father's Day to all the dads out there. We'll have a special blessing for you later on. And let me just tell you personally, after three and a half months away, it's uh, just wonderful to be back with all of you. And uh, I'm trying not to get emotional. <laughs> I give every single one of you a hug, but we can't do that. So, um, so uh, just know that um, I've been I've been accompanying, trying to accompany all of you, and uh, on Sundays offering mass for all of you um, back at the seminary. We we were still in business uh, at the seminary, so um, but it was really there was something very much missing. So. Thanks be to God that we're able to come back and to, to worship together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. 
For you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many. Terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer me. 
my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's children. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall about me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous is your kindness. In your great mercy, turn towards me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Holy ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and whatever moves in them. Lord, in your great love, answer me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all have sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin, after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression, for if by the transgression of the one many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will, be, will not be known. 
But I say to you in darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim from housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Or not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before the, my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. So let's listen to what Jesus is saying here. Fear no one. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head, perhaps once more numerous than they are now. Even all the hairs of your head are counted so do not be afraid. Let that sink in. Let that sink in right now. Because we need it. Because in different ways, I'm sure we all got things going on and plenty to be afraid of. But what's Jesus saying here? Jesus is not saying don't feel the emotion of fear. We can't help it. You can't help feeling afraid. Jesus felt afraid, right? He went through the agony in the garden. Jesus isn't saying don't feel that. You can't help feeling that. What is he saying? He's saying something a lot deeper. Jesus is talking really about what's your perspective? What's your outlook as you look out on life? What's your outlook right now at this historical moment with everything we've got going on in this country, in our lives? What's your approach? Or to put it another way, who do you let drive your bus? Who's driving your bus? Is it fear most of the time? Is it anxiety? Is it cynicism? Is it negativity? Who's driving that bus? Because Jesus doesn't want us to allow that to be driving our bus. Nor is he inviting us to be optimists, you know. I mean, the er great error of any form of kind of progressive thought is that if we just work harder enough, if we just work hard enough, things are going to get better, whatever better means, right? But, we just know things are going to get better. We just got to work at it, you know. Jesus would definitely not an optimist. An optimist would have told Jesus, you know, if you, uh, teacher, you know, if you just work on your relationship with the scribes and Pharisees a little bit more, you know, things, things will work out. Things will work out. Well, things didn't work out. <laughs> right? Jesus knew he was going to be crucified. That's how things worked out. And from that human perspective, things definitely did not get better for Jesus. They got a heck of a lot worse. Jesus knew that he was going to be crucified. That's where he was going. He also knew the bigger picture. He knew that that was not the final chapter, right? 
there's going to be suffering in our lives. So Jesus is saying to us, where are you anchored? Jesus knew where he was anchored. Jesus knew who he was. Beloved son of the Father. Beloved son of the Father. He was anchored in his Father. Anchored in his Father's love. Jesus wants us to be anchored in his love. That was the beautiful word from the opening prayer today for those of us who, whose foundation is in love. Right? Where's our foundation? Where are, what are we grounded in? Or to put it another way, where's our anchor? What are we anchored in? Jesus wants us to be anchored in him, not in empty optimism. He wants us to be anchored in him. In the world, you will have struggles, but I have overcome the world. How does Jesus overcome the world that is so unpredictable and throws so many things at us and has thrown so much stuff at us lately? This world that is unpredictable, that causes tension in our lives, where things aren't necessarily going to get better. How does Jesus overcome that? How does he overcome that in your life if you let him? How does he do that? By being himself, by being your anchor, by being your love, by being your source of peace. Jesus says, that's why he says, be not afraid. A few chapters earlier in Matthew, he's talking to the disciples about how the pagans worry about all those things, and the pagans are always worrying about what to eat and what to wear. And your father knows that you need these things. But you seek first the kingdom, and all will be provided for you. Seek first the kingdom, and all will be provided for you. Everything that you really need, everything that you really need, even when things don't get better and they seem to be getting worse, everything that you really need will be provided if we're anchored in Jesus. Jesus is talking to disciples whom he wants. He wants them to be anchored in him and in his trust. And even when things got bad for them, even when things got rough, when they were out in the boat, remember they're out in the boat? And where's Jesus? And the storm comes up. Where's Jesus? He's asleep. Has it seemed like Jesus had been asleep lately in your life? Jesus is asleep. The boat's about to go down. Things have definitely gotten really bad. <laughs> the boat's definitely about to sink. Lord, they finally wake him up. And he calms. What, is, what does Jesus do? He brings calm. He brings peace. And then he says... Why were you afraid? Why were you afraid? He calls them to task, takes them to task. Why were you afraid? You have little faith. Jesus is inviting us to examine ourselves. Where is our hope anchored right now? Is it anchored in, behold, I am with you always? Is it anchored in his presence? In the Eucharist, is it anchored after all of this time of hungering for Jesus in the Eucharist? Is, are we finally anchored in him? Are we going to let him bring always, no matter what's going on, bring that peace again and again in our lives? Behold, I am with you always. Remain in me. Remain in me. So let's resolve. Let's resolve today. How can we cooperate with grace to live more in communion with Jesus? You know, we just celebrated the Feast of the Sacred Heart, and I'm always reminded of that beautiful, simple prayer that I hope we pray very often. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I trust in you. You want to be anchored? You want to be anchored in Jesus? What if we got up every morning before we had our coffee or did anything else? We just stopped, got out of bed. It's a sacred heart of Jesus, I trust in you. You say that three times. You pray that, sacred heart of Jesus, I trust in you. 
What if we did that? That's a way to be more anchored in him. That's a way to allow him to anchor us more in his reality, in his presence. The love of Jesus. The love of Jesus. Prayer, daily prayer time, time with his word. Now that we're able, adoration, now that we're able, maybe mastering the week, to stay anchored in him. Jesus says, be not afraid. Let's resolve to live more in communion with Jesus, to live in lockstep. He wants us in lockstep with him. And he'll give us the grace to do that. And with that, he will give us every grace that we need. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. stand together now and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are delighted to gather for this Eucharistic celebration today as a community of faith and again to receive our Lord in Holy Communion. Let's uh, begin, let's uh, continue as we offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. With gratitude for the presence of Jesus among us in the tabernacle, and in Holy Communion, may we, may we grow in love and in intimacy with him. We pray to the Lord. Lord that we may all come to love adoration of the Blessed Sacrament and spend time in his presence as often as possible. We pray to the Lord. Lord that uh, we may all recognize the dignity and equality of all people, of all races, because we are all made in the image and likeness of God, who loved us and created us to be with him forever. We pray to the Lord. For an end to violence and discord in our society, and that uh, we rediscover our common, or, uh, common or origin and de destiny and work together for the common good, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died from COVID-19 virus and for their families, that God may console them and give them eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. We, for, uh, we pray for the Fitzgerald family whom we remember at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. I'm going to ask your prayers too for uh, Luis Silva who is uh, going to be ordained to the priesthood for the Archdiocese of New York this week. So ask you to pray for him. And uh, we pray for all of our, our graduates. Do we, have, do we have any graduates from eighth grade with us today? Eighth grade, no. We got any grad, high, we got, and high school graduates? Okay, congratulations to you and our special prayers for you in this extraordinary year, right? Um, so we pray for them that our Lord, and we ask our Lord to bless his church with abundant vocations to religious and priestly life. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayers as we place our trust in you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing our offertory hymn, Be Not Afraid. shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will and you shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me. And I will give you rest. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us eternal life. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who Holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim your death. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now. Cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. This is the bread of God coming down from heaven, giving life. To us, to all the world. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. of love is broken now, cup of life is poured, come share the supper of the Lord. I am the living spring of eternal You that drink from me shall not thirst again. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast is broken now, cup of life is poured, come share the supper of the Lord. I am the bread of heaven, giving life to you. that eat this bread shall never die. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Of love 
is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like. But I've heard the tender whisper of love In the dead of night You tell me that you're pleased And that I'm never alone You're a good, good father It's who you are It's who you are it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. Good, good Father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You're perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. Love so undeniable, I, I can hardly speak peace so I, I can hardly think as you call me, deeper still as you call me, deeper still as you call me, deeper still into love, love, love. You're a good, good father, it's who you are. It's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. You're perfect in all of your ways. You're perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a couple of announcements that Father Rich gave me before uh, Mass. Uh, the mega raffle is on, so you can get tickets by calling the rectory. And he just wanted to point out that on July 19th, we don't know the time yet, but uh, July 19th, he's planning an outdoor mass and picnic at Wells Park. Wait a minute, I'm being, I'm being told, I'm being waved down from the back there. Oh, the tickets are available at the Welcome Center. Okay, all right. We can still call the rectory, right? I mean, you, you can do this. You probably should be able to order these things online too, right? So, okay, so the tickets available back there. Anyway, July 19th, outdoor mass and picnic at Wells Park. Uh, time to be determined, so keep, keep
keep your uh, eyes open for that, but that sounds like a wonderful, a wonderful thing for our parish family. So uh, for all the fathers, could I ask you fathers to just bow your heads in your place where you are and ask, we'll ask God's special blessing upon you. Heavenly Father, Father from whom every name in heaven on earth is given, we ask that you bless these men, bless their fatherhood, and that always their children, their loved ones, and all in their lives may encounter in them your love, the love of our Father in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Make it a beautiful day, everyone. Uh, so good to be back. We're getting, we're getting full. And next week, supposedly, we can go to 50% capacity. So we're, we're getting there. God bless you all. Happy Father's Day, everyone. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Awake from your slumber, arise from your sleep, a new day is dawning for all those who weep. The people in darkness have seen a great light, the Lord of conquered the night. Let us fill the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, the light and our love has turned the night into day. We are sons of the morning. We are daughters of day. The one who has loved us has brightened our way. The Lord of all kindness has called us to be a light for his people to set their hearts free. Let us fill the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, the light and our love has turned the night into day.